hello, I just had a coffee and it was great. Um, from where we left off in the last one, sorry that was a bit of an unexpected edit there, but uh, I went over time and I started rambling so I thought I'd go back and start that bit again. Um, uh, and I also want to spend a bit of time in this video, um, have some time to show some of the cool stuff in um, moving a camera and the, uh, the easing and the, the path that you can do. But uh, we're going to start off, I'll start off by um, animating this camera through the scene. So uh, we'll go back to the camera view to do this. And here are all our scene elements. Let's go on. Um, the... Uh, the camera doesn't have any keyframes on it at the moment, any um, animation on it, so I'm going to do that now. I'll go to the peg, the camera peg, and um, we I'll go to frame 10 because that's where I want the, the, the camera to start moving. And I'll press F6. Now F6 will create a keyframe on that peg layer, uh, as long as the peg layer is selected. Uh, press F6. And so what's happening is the, the scene is staying still for... 10 frames or for the beginning of the scene I don't want to start you know start the scene and immediately start the camera moving I want to give it the viewer a bit of time just a little bit of time in this case um, to look at the scene before we move the camera it's always nice to do that um, not always there are exceptions but hey you I think you understand um, actually I'm going to remove that camera uh, that uh, keyframe I'm going to move the the, f the frame the camera frame up to this is where we want the scene to start I want the scene to start in the sky because maybe we're looking at the Sun or maybe we are watching a bird fly across the sky like um, like another example that I did earlier um, or whatever so we're starting in the sky and I th I've decided that in this scene I want the the camera to to go down the scene so that we see all the the hills and the trees coming up into the shot um, and I also want it to pull out a bit so that we the camera can go down behind the bushes so I'm going to you can see here I'm zoomed way out so bear in mind that that little field that's that square you can see up there is the camera view so that's the entirety of our scene will be in that view and wherever we move that that's what we'll see so don't be um, don't be uh, deceived by what you're seeing in the camera view uh, in this whole view here um, so I'm going to move this viewfinder. I've, I've got it held for 10 frames, and from there, from then to frame 50, it's a pretty quick camera move for such a long one. I'm going to move um, the viewfinder down behind these bushes. I also want to truck out a bit, like pull pull back a bit um, with the camera, so that we can go back and down behind the the bushes. So I'll do that in the top view. At, the, at that frame 50, at the end frame, I'll just pull it back in the top view, pull it back a bit, making sure it stays kind of um, in the, the bushes. So when we play this back, when we scrub the timeline, there's our camera move. We, um, we go down, down the scene, and down behind the bushes. Of course, if I was to do this scene, I would put a ground plane there if it's on in the frame. Oh no it's not. Um, but anyway, uh, now what you might see straight away is that this is a fairly boring camera move. It starts moving, let's play it. Doink. Okay, it's it's quick, it's very, the movement's consistent and it's a dead straight line. So just like you saw in um, the previous exercise or one of the earlier exercises, I can uh, play with a trajectory on this element, That's that this, this peg element. Um, and I can do that by right clicking anywhere in the camera view and choose show path and control parameters which the keyboard shortcut for which is shift F11 uh, when I choose that you can see I've got the, the trajectory plotted out in the scene and um, in both views like the the camera view and the um, the top view uh, and all the the little lines crossing that trajectory uh, represent the frame numbers, the frames of the thing. So there are, what, 40 frames in this camera move, so there'll be 40 of those little strokes on there. I'm not going to count them, but you you can see what I mean. Um, now, uh, with the animate button clicked, 
with it turned on. I can now move this camera view, this camera um, square around and I can make the camera move a little bit more interesting um, by curving its trajectory. Now the other thing that I want to do here is to um, <clears throat> excuse me, is to uh, ease in and out. Like at the moment if I play it's a very hard start and a very hard stop. So to do that um, with any element that you've got moving in the timeline, uh, moving in your scene, in the timeline click this little plus and that will give me access to all the different values, the different ways that it moves. So I've got the path, which is the, you know, where it moves, and the velocity, which is the speed. So if I double click the velocity, I get this window it shows me that I have a, a very straight boring velocity so I'm just going to add some some easing here I'm going to go in and ease that so I've e I'm easing in and and uh, easing out of that keyframe and then easing into this one so I've got a nice gentle kind of thing so if I if I now close that uh, and I play it go back to the beginning pl uh, play See, we've got a really nice um, an ease, and you can see there the the little strokes along the traje trajectory. They uh, they indicate the easing. We we've got strokes closer together here, so the frames, um, the the camera is moving slow at the beginning, speeds up towards the middle here, and slows in at the end. And you can you can play around with um, with that velocity on any movement layer so it's it's a lot of fun to play with actually so once again it's in that little plus sign there open it up and you've got all those things you can play with if you rate, rotate something like the camera which you can um, I might just do that now but there'll be a, um, a rotation value there for you to to mess about with with the easing so let me just um, rotate the camera here just choose the rotation tool of course and go like that and now oh what have I done hmm well guess what that seems oh of course jeez I'm an idiot um, okay what I did is I um, the rotation hadn't had a, f a f um, beginning keyframe, but now it does. So begin and then rotate. Yeah, so um, if I could give you back your 30 seconds, I would. I'm sorry. Uh, so there you go. And there's a bit of, uh, there's lots of really um, nice things you can do with camera moves. And I hope this has been a not too painful introduction. Thank you for watching. Um, I don't know what will be next, maybe an Animate Pro tutorial on effects or um, one of the earlier ones that we've covered, uh, a more advanced one of that, um, perhaps intermediate um, something. So yeah.